quite an impact on launch day because we decided to fill this big glass box studio with all the rubbish, all the plastic waste that is generated. Nature, countries, place, cities, even the US state has recently signed. signed. <laughs> Very sorry we broke all the ocean laws. Now we rise to save your home. Please forgive us as we did not know. It is not just amazing. So I can't help but repeating a little bit myself, but uh, each time, believe it. First of all, I, I would like to say how sorry I am that I cannot be with you all in person today in Cardiff as you explore some innovative solutions to safeguard the future health of our fragile ocean. I must say I am heartened to see that the determination to get to grips with this pressing issue is gradually gaining impetus around the world. Glass steel. Schools of fish are being studied in order to make our transport networks more efficient. Causes of uh, uh, deforestation lead in turn to uh, land being exposed, causing soil to run down rivers and go into the ocean. Please, please, take your telephone down, please. And the dynamic force. We've just concluded the World Ocean Summit here in Cardiff. Uh, it's been a fantastic day of hearing from scientists, innovators, entrepreneurs, and those from the world of sport as well, particularly sailing, because of course uh, the Volvo Ocean Race is stopping over here in Cardiff. The team village is here. The most inspiring thing I've heard today is from the schoolboy Yuvraj, who wrote to Jeremy Darrick, our CEO at Sky. And it was his letter that really sparked this next phase of Sky Ocean Rescue. Originally, we were highlighting the problem, but now we're looking at action. And Yuvraj said, what can I do to help? What can me and my school friends do? And I think that's been really inspiring today, knowing that someone who's seven years old can really want to make a change and can inspire others. So I think that's what I found really, really interesting and inspiring today. And we've seen today, I think it's the most, uh, the event where we have had the most commitments from uh, a government taking action and signing the Clean Seas Pledge, Gov uh, the, state, the government of Wales, from uh, the, the entire sport movement, world sailing, signing the Clean Seas Pledge, the International Olympic Committee signing the pledge, a lot of great innovations from business sector, from NGOs, from governments. This is amazing. This is happening. So at the moment we've got seven major sport federations on board, some national Olympic committees. I'm also working with some of our commercial partners. So we want to extend that to all the Olympic movement if possible. Get everyone and as much people, many people as possible on board, um, from the athletes to the committees themselves, everyone talking about this global issue together. So we have a lot of work to do. We've got to do a global outreach programme, we've got to do some education toolkits, we've got to work out a way to inspire others. So now we've got to do the work and get going.